Hey guys and girls, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Hugh C. Fishing. In today's episode, I'm going to be telling you guys why you are tying a Palomar not wrong. So let's just jump right into it. So the Palomar knot is the one that I tie the most. I tie it on pretty much everything. I try tie it from 20 pound, 20 pound fluorocarbon to 6 pound fluorocarbon. Even braided line, monofilament, I tie it for literally everything. It's a perfect knot. A lot of times my line will just break before I, before my knot will break, which is pretty crazy. So the main reason why you guys are tying a Palomar knot wrong uh, is you're letting your line burn. Um, it's not just not wetting it or not putting spit on it or anything like that. It's the way that you tighten the knot down um, you could be tying the knot perfectly right but you're just not tightening it or cinching it down correctly so i'm going to show you guys exactly what i mean by burning your line and not tightening it and maybe that's why your guys you guys are breaking off your fish breaking off your lures stuff like that and then i'm gonna go over 20 pound line and tie it the right way so you guys can see exactly how to tie it so so if you're if you're a learner for the first time this is good practice because you see me do it again but don't do the last step i'll show you what not to do wrong so you take it through Take a couple inches, stick it back through, get line, cross it, stick the loop through. What people do wrong is about to happen. They stick, they wrap it, but look what they do. They tighten that loop. This is where everybody goes wrong. They tighten that loop. I still, or they tighten the knot, and then we still have this huge loop. So we're having to pull our main line and my tag line down and even then look that just burned 20 pound line we just burned 20 pound line because we didn't cinch our knot down right so that is what people do wrong you want to make sure that you lift that knot up pull the loop all the way up to the top and then tighten it down with everything coming together at once instead of uh instead of tightening the knot and then pulling the loop tight you want to make sure everything comes together at once so if you guys are wanting to learn how to tie a palomar knot for the first time this is for you what you're going to do is you're going to take the line, go through the eye of the hook or the eye of your bait or whatever. We're going to take a couple inches of line out, six, eight, ten inches of line, whatever. Usually the more line you take out, the bigger the bait is. Um, the bigger your bait is because it's going, to be, it's going to be better later on in the knot. So what we're going to do is stick it through. We're going to stick it back through. So stick it through, take six, eight, ten inches of line, and we're going to stick it back through the eye of the hook the same way we just came. So on one end, we've got a loop. And on one end, we've got our main line and we got our tag end. What we're gonna do is we're gonna act like each side is one line. So we're pinching it together. This side with the main line and the tag line is gonna be one line. This side with the loop is gonna be one line. What we're gonna do, get a little more line. So I'm gonna cross them. I'm gonna pinch it up here. I'm gonna stick the knot, or stick the looped end through the middle. So it's pretty much just an overhand knot. I'm leaving my finger through the middle of that knot. And what I'm gonna do with that loop so I'm gonna wrap the bait. Now what most people do is they tighten this knot before they tighten the loop. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use our finger. We're gonna pull everything up. So this is the loop right here. So you can see that piece of line that I just brought up with me. That is the loop that we just looped the bait with. Then I'm gonna take my finger out. And we're gonna pull both the main line and the tag line at the same time. And you see, it's getting a little smaller and smaller. Everything is coming together at the exact same time. This is right This is right when you would wet it if you're using really light line, um, if you still have a little bit of trouble. But everything is coming together. We're pulling on main line and our tag line at the exact same time, and we're going to tighten it down. That is a perfect knot. It's a small knot. You can test it. Pull both the main line and the tag line. I never do that. I never test my knots because I know they're good. But that is a good-looking good knot. That's going to be a strong knot. So that was... That is how to tie the Palomar knot the correct way. Um, like I said, it's the only knot I use, uh, or pretty much the only knot I use. 99.99% of the time I'm tying a Palomar knot when I'm tying to a bait or lure or something like that. So uh, hopefully you guys learned what you guys do wrong. Um, you can see when I tied it the right way, I had no burn in my line whatsoever. When I tied it the wrong way, that is weak line. And that will cost you sometimes big fish, tournament win, something like that. You do not want to do that. So... Hope you guys learned something. I will say thanks for watching.